All right. All right. We're uh, discussing we... the various ways in <laughs> which this game would be improved. But all of them are basically Loren sucking less. Yeah. Um, all right. <clears throat> oh, I can just... I don't even have to click. I can just space bump. Oh, great. Do you think they'll just start attacking us? I wouldn't put it past them. The wizard said it with disgust, glaring at the trees. Trees killed his Fucking parents. Fucking trees. <laughs> Saren walked by the wren's side silently, heeding a Polymichot's warning against his better judgment of the elves. I also wish we could have named these people. Hmm. Like, obviously the wren we couldn't name, but... Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like as a text-based game... It could have just let us name them. Or at least yourself. Like, that's the weirdest thing, that they're like, no, we can't, there are no variables in this text. You cannot, we cannot even alter Hero's name. He heard movement in the forest nearby. No one revealed themselves, but it put Saren on alert, just on, just the same. And now we're on the mountain. Yeah, wow, it got snowy real fast. The skyline of Mount Kronos formed in front of them, and it looked like a perilous climb. Epolemusho urged them to keep up a quick pace, however... And the wren didn't argue. Oh, so there were no dangers in the forest. <laughs> we the last just... of the trees was about to be behind them. When Saren had a heard a noise from within them and again, he spun around. Whee! Between the trunks of the trees stood a few elves with their weapons drawn, closely guarding their home. The elf in front raised his crossbow, but the other elves pulled at his shoulder. He seemed reluctant to retreat back into the forest, but he did. Saren. The group had not stopped and was about to go on without him. Coming! They passed through elven territory unscathed, but an even greater challenge was before them. There was no challenge! Agreed. We just walked! <laughs> what the what? fuck?! Oh, meanwhile, oh. in the northern border of the region, an evil force was crafting sinister plans. The party was still innocently unaware of this creature's actions, but it was only a matter of time before that would change. A heavily armored, mysterious being sat on its throne, comfortable in the hot room despite the volcano's lava flowing so near. The evil thing's name was Faust, a name that would come to be spat and whispered in fear. I have just renamed this character Foster Lager. He Jesus. looked up to see Jewel, his servant succubus and fan service icon, approaching him, swaying her hips back and forth in a way that is narratively necessary. Your news! <laughs> um. <laughs> Crikey! Crikey! Karen had just been taken care of. No, 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 no. We need to put that voice away. Right, we're gonna, yep, in no, the box. Yep. And we need to never take it out again. Karen has just been taken care of. Crikey, that's mighty good. Any complications? Her daughter, Loren, is looking for her as we speak. She is very determined. She is a very oh, determined you. woman. So I doubt that she will give up searching so easily. Before <clears throat> he could respond to her, Grob came forward to kneel before him. My lord, I've returned. What's well, about time? I've come very good news. I've taken care of Loretta and her party. They're now imprisoned in a human city. Were they able to capture him that easily? Yes, my lord. She knew that Foss would not like the news, but she couldn't keep it to herself. But they aren't in prison. Not a one of them. Foss' gaze was indiscernible. Because he's wearing a giant <laughs> fucking <laughs> helmet and his eyes glow. Care to elaborate? <clears throat> exactly that. They aren't in prison. They're waltzing around freely as I just said. Grub simply scoffed. Even if they are, they've been dealt with. My plants are going perfectly. It doesn't matter which <clears throat> side they end up on or where they are right now. They're going to trigger a war between the humans and elves just like we wanted. Tell me again how Lorenz and Woolmitten this will help us. Oh, where am I fucking. Where am I from? Where did I. Uh, uh, yeah, somewhere between. <laughs> yeah, somewhere it's between. The Dick, it's Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> yeah. British. No, no, man, that, that she was. She was supposed to just, be imprisoned. You, yeah, you just. In that sentence, you walked from Sydney to Wales via Ireland. 
It's true. <laughs> it was... Simple, my lord. They'll be the heart of the conflict and not us. Be able to begin our invasion freely. As a good chance, Loren will be killed in the struggle between two warring races. We'll be guaranteed to be distracted and fighting against each other. And a fatality is guaranteed. Foster remains silent, considering the explanation <clears throat> carefully and trying to calculate the potential repercussions and what could go wrong. Grob's plan wasn't entirely foolproof, but it did sound surprisingly thorough, considering who had crafted it. Wow. Harsh. Mm. I'll prove of these plans. Let's see how far they succeed. And they better succeed, Grob. I'll make myself clear. Transparent, my lord. Can we at least send someone to watch over Loren and her party? They've gained a new ally already. They could be more dangerous than we think. Speak the truth. Make it so. As I've said before, you don't have to worry. I've taken care of the matter the matters well. What you mean? As I've said, my lord. Already someone watching over him very closely. Everything will go according to plan. I've made sure of it. Crikey, for your sake, it better. <clears throat> yes. Dark Lord Foster Logger. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to camp. Yeah, let's talk to these people. Especially since there's nowhere else we can go. Unless you're right. <laughs> yep. No, no, no. Not Kronos, it was over here, it was covered up by Are clouds. you fucking serious? Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so let's All right. start with Loren, I guess. Yeah, because she's the worst. Yeah. Do you think we can trust a polymer show? I rarely trust anyone I've just met. The Archwizard does unsteady me more than usual. Are you fearful of magic? I'm comfortable with magic. He's a very important wizard to the Empire. Which means he'll always have their agenda in mind. What I fear most is that he'll try to use us as puppets for his nation's schemes. I don't like being used. This is, like, vastly more worldly than the person we got in the first scene. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, this is, like, we've we've gone, like, full Cardinal Richelieu here. Neither do I. <laughs> but we're bound to him for now. You and missed the implications. I'm your slave. Yes. <laughs> And it infuriates me to know that my mother was out there somewhere, but I'm trudging through the snow by his orders. We wouldn't have been in that jail cell if that creature hadn't made us look like murderers. I'll make sure that goblin dies particularly slowly. No, we can tell a joke. We can tell a joke here. That's, that's, what's our zippy one-liner about I'm gonna killing I'm going to go it? with knock-knock. Who's there? You're missing mom. You're missing mom who? No one knows. No one can find her. To be fair, we also wouldn't have been in that cell if Dora had kept her word. Yeah, no, just be a, pe just be a piece of shit and knock out your uh, your teammates. Yeah. I won't dwell on that. Neither should you. She, I, I wasn't being... <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not very good at jokes. I'm not. I, <laughs> I am a jokesman. Two down. All right. Fit. No, never again. I said never again before. I should have listened to me. <laughs> All right. I wasn't being serious. Oh. You should lighten up sometimes. Nothing makes a person laugh like telling him to lighten up. Life hacks. <laughs> lighten up. What does that even mean? It, it's sort of like the opposite of that. What? Never mind. I choose to believe that halfway through that conversation, Loren was just punching him in the neck. I refuse to stop. Yeah, no, no, we are, we are, we are just going to be friendly. All right, so if we're going Forever. worst, if we're going worst to best, then we have to go with. A pill on the show next. You're a human, correct? You don't look like a child of the Amazons. You're half an Amazon. Hmm? You're half an Amazon, aren't you? Uh, might be. It was, uh... I am. I'm half an Amazon. But all man. You look full-blooded. Hmm. Odd. My father was an Empire soldier. A stormtrooper. <clears throat> what? 
How did that even come to pass? That's unheard of! Let's talk about slavery, old man. <laughs> Shit's unreal. You can apply for citizenship when we are next in Grimoire and file a grievance against these Amazons. That behavior has gone unchecked for too long. Listen. This is some straight bullshit you're telling me here. Let me tell you about bureaucracy, son. <laughs> Do Amazons have paperwork? Actually, in my head, he sounds like Sean Connery. You can apply for citizenship when we are next in Grimoire and file grievance against these Amazons. I, I, what do you mean by that? You just informed me that the Amazons imprisoned a man, and it is unfortunate that it has waited this long to come to light. Pris I'm not even going to mention exactly how you came to be. I wonder how many more soldiers we've lost to them. Consider yourself under my care now. You'll be returned to the Empire where you belong. Let's, let's not talk so closely about belonging. Should we joke with him? No, fuck no. We are what? friendly. We are friendly. He's being nice. He's being friendly. We No, we've clicked that button twice. Have we said a joke? <laughs> Third time's the charm? I, I take no responsibility no, for you're what the, you're, you're our MC. You're our MC. What is your... Uh, like, like, if we actually had any chance of saying something funny, I would do it for the benefit of the audience. But no, we'll say something fucking stupid. We're just friendly. No offense, sir, but I belong with Princess Loren. No. How is that not fucking stupid? You're only saying that because you were too loyal a servant. Don't don't worry, we'll write this. I Listen, I understand that you're in an abusive relationship with this Amazon lady. How would you like to instead in <laughs> form of an abusive relationship with me, son? I I don't get that. Like, look at the worry in this man's eyes. Like, shit, this is some deep shit this boy's gone through. But there's nothing... But there's nothing to write. I'm only half Empire. I am also Amazon. I belong in the Citadel. If, if that is what you want, and I cannot understand why for the life of me... Because the writers made you! <clears throat> Alright, next I... next best is clearly Draco. And we finish up with uh, Dora. Sure. Do Dora the Explorer? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You call yourself a fire mage. But why not practice other elements as well? Why not practice in my pants? Ah, yeah, they're no fun. Fire's what's fun. Any particular reason why? Fire's warm and cozy and also deadly and unpredictable and pretty to look at. You can do this. Whoosh. Did that explain everything? Joke. Yeah, we can joke with this guy. We can joke with him. We, we can, can tell, tell a him. joke. We, we can, can tell, tell a joke. joke. Yeah, yeah, we'll be super jokey with him. He seems very jokey. Yeah, yeah. We left out. Uh, that, there we go. All right. All right. All right. That's, all right. that's a setup. That's a setup. a setup. You left out dragons. Right, yes. I like to pretend to be a dragon when I was a boy. Rawr and such. Okay. Okay. No, yeah, think, no, no, yeah. I think we got there. Yeah. We, we had it. We had a jokey conversation. Maybe it's like a practice thing. Maybe we get yeah. better with practice. <laughs> could be. Could be. Her joke score is stat is still low. Dora, you said you could. You said you could get us out of jail. It's still on about that. I know. I know. I know. Sheesh! Haven't you made me feel awful enough already? I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I just want answers. I want to know if I can ever trust you again. I, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just going to say a bunch of shit that's going to make you feel bad. Look, okay, I totally thought I could get us out of there. I've done it loads of times. I wasn't lying to you. Friendly. I want to be friends with this dwarf. She's very pouty at the moment. I know you weren't lying. I just... I think you shouldn't make promises you can't keep anymore. I have a very troubled idea of human relationships because I grew up with a bunch of Amazons. <clears throat> that puts us and Loren's mother in danger. If I don't take your work on, word on things in the future, you know why. I wasn't friendly, it was passive aggressive. Yeah, no, that was bullshit. Oh, please don't be like that. Because you're being a dick. They put us in a weird cell with a weird lock. So I couldn't pick it. 
Your entire plan was to just pick the lock? I'm a thief. I pick locks. That's what I do. I... And I was gonna sneak you guys out. Like I said, done it before. You may be small, but the rest of us aren't. Oh, thank you for making this a size thing now. If I could took it back, I would. Sorry and stuff. I like that you've gone what from, like, rogue to, <clears throat> like, girl Chris Tucker. I really <laughs> like that that's where the voice has gone. I'm really happy with that. Well, she's pissed right now. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that We're here now, in face. not in jail. Can we move on now? All right. So we've talked to everybody at camp. We've talked to everybody at camp. <laughs> it's so bad. I wanted to not believe that that was the case. It's so bad. All right, Mount Kronos. <clears throat> Mount Kronos. The party was already well into their journey. The terrain was difficult to navigate, but made easier with the help of their new companion. Along the way, they were surprised to find an overturned cart right in their path. Bandits? Bandits. Who left this here? Hold. Show yourself. Even better! Oh my god, a dwarf absman! He's all yours. <laughs> oh, oh! I need to like mental. We we well, we've established what the dwarf accent is, right? Yeah. Stay away, a lot of you. You'll never get your hands on these goods, and by goods I mean abs, and by abs I mean my package. Saren lowered his weapon, real realizing that the dwarf was only protecting the cart and not ambushing them. We should be <laughs> friendly with this poor. Stranded, package full dwarfman. We cannot just leave him here, your highness. He looks like he's been out here for days. For years. For years, judging from the beard. I like the tiny bows in the beard. The tiny beard. bows are amazing. I have deep effects. I can handle myself. Stay away from my cart. He wants us to leave him. He looks like he's starving. Listen. I have abs even when I have eaten many full meals, thank you. Please, I beg you, help me. Ren rested her eyes on the dwarf and he seemed to shake where he stood. While not <clears throat> surprising, it's real cold. And he is wearing <laughs> nothing and conductive metal. <laughs> it was clear that he was malnourished, but too prideful to leave his cart behind. She grabbed the water skin from her hip and threw it at him. Drink. What is your name, dwarf? Ramus. I've rammed an ass in my time, or two in my time, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you had any water? Just me. Lots of it. Ha! <laughs> Fuck it. Drunk. <laughs> Gestured to the scattered barrels near his cart. You're a merchant, aren't you? Ah, at least I used to be until my damn wagon lost its damn wheel. Not much of anything now. Don't say that. You'll still be an amazing merchant when you get back. Ramus blinks, staring deeply at the female dwarf trying to comfort him. <clears throat> he looked as if he were in a trance. Oh, he's blushing. Yeah. He's a blushy. <laughs> ah, yeah. Well, any goods we can purchase from you, we have a long trip ahead of us, and we may restore your merchant's honor yet. Of course, I got goods to sell. Just take a look. Oh, oh. shit, he does. Oh, yeah. I, I, right. I thought he was going to be a party member, not a guy trying to sell us shit. Okay, so... Uh, how much we got? We got 287. And we've got some stuff we can sell, too. Yeah. All right, so uh, what's our priority here? I guess new swords... Probably better swords for, uh, um, Loren. Neither of these swords are better than her main sword. Oh, do they have, oh, they've got different damage types. Yeah, damage type is air. Ah, neat. This is a two-hander. Yeah, no, no. Like, she can presumably equip a two-hander. Yeah, but she's really good with the... 
with two swords. Yeah. Why would we? Why would we do that? What about armor? Uh, less defense, more speed. Ooh. She is our defense at the moment. But um, we could bop it. It gives him a bonus to speed. Mm, yeah, three hundred bucks though. Mm. Yeah, we don't. We barely have because like speed is speed. Big, if you're in back row, like speed over defense, right? Yeah. Chain gloves of the forest. Padded boots of the troll. Yeah, she's already got boots. What is everybody else wearing? I don't think we need any of this shit. Yeah, let's just sell the shit we don't need. And sell the best. Yeah, we have like 350. Alright. Um. Because uh, Lorenz got two swords, right? Yes. And I, I think her second sword is shitty. Uh, let's check our inventory. Yes, it's a standard short sword and a tempered long sword. So we could, yeah, we yeah, could... replace that with like an elemental sword. Yeah, that sounds good. Ooh. Close, bottom right. Oh my god! And again, <laughs> there we go. New eye on this is. Uh... All right, so we can get. Yanos, which is 11. Yeah. Or Minor Sonic, which is 13. That seems better. Which one's worth more? Uh, this one's cost slightly more. Okay, let's grab that one. Alright. All right. So now we go into inventory. It did have an equip directly option. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it wouldn't like replace her main. Oh, game. yeah. You're good. Good thinking, and then sell that one, because we don't need it. Alright, great. Yeah, it's just right. whatever. Uh, no, we don't need that stick. We sold them him that stick. I think we're good. All right. Oh, we should check. What's his name? So what does he do? Uh, looks like he's got some buffs. Let's make and and fire. Yeah, he seems more of a fire wizard than uh, other fire wizard. Yeah. Paralyze and. Oh wow, he's got an area heal. Arch wizard. Nice. And then the regular wizard stuff. Yeah. Oh, I made a grave mistake. What if you stop clicking on that thing and click over? Nope. There we go. There we go. All right. Leave shop. Yep. <clears throat> Ramus regained a colorful disposition and happily showed the party his goods. After a few purchases, so he seemed not only happier, but healthier. He couldn't keep his eyes off of Dora, however. Dude, stop that. Thank you very much. It's the least we can do. Bandits attacked me, and I didn't know what to do. Couldn't just leave my cart in the middle of nowhere. I thought I'd die. Those are just things. You risk your life for material possessions. Being a virgin is all I've known, lady. With that outfit? <laughs> with that outfit? Uh, yeah. Right? Oh, that's that, exactly what with she that says. Axe, <laughs> I'd assume you know something of battle, too. Well, this old thing, we've been together for a long time. If you know how to use that axe, then we may require your services. Or we can pay, of course. Pay? After what you just did for me? I'm following you guys to the end of the world. I'm like that dwarf from the Dungeons and Dragons movie where I met a Wayne's <clears throat> brother in a tavern and then I was like, fuck yeah, I'll die for you. That's the spirit. Wasn't even a cool Wayne's brother. <laughs> Dora jumped up and Ramus smiled excitedly. I agree, dwarves are a powerful people and it would be wise to have you by our side. Will you join us, Ramus? Glance over at Dora one more time in a manner that suggested that we are going to have to have a conversation with HR. No, I... He I not like, like, away. I was hoping he was looking over at me like, she's, she's a little bit racist, eh? Like, yeah, 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 a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> then it settled. Your so help in retrieving the sword will be valuable indeed, we assume. Berserker. Oh, fun. Front row. So a new member joined their <clears> ranks. <throat> And we said no more time and continued onward toward their, toward their goals. So now we have a full party. Yeah. Six people. 
and we've had a total of three fights? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Dora explained to Remus that their quest to retrieve an ancient sword in return for their freedom. He seemed to hang on her every word. I never doubted Ramus for a moment. I knew I could trust him, even if we had just met. I knew because I could tell he'd fallen in love with Dora at first sight. So, 100%, that ain't happening. We are taking zero steps to make that happen. Yeah, no, anything we can make that, no. Any way that we can cultivate a relationship where we get to rub our cheese grater abs together. <laughs> Alright, I'm down, I'm down. I mean, the sound, it'd be like crickets. <laughs> No, no, it would, it would be like the 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 finest tuned violin. It's not I, like like ripped, 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 ripped. You hear it? You Love see. is what makes heroes of us all. <laughs> Which I will admit is the best line that I've read in this thing so far. <clears throat> While ascending the mountain, they heard the haunting calls of orcs in the dis distance. Haunting. A bunch of orcs being like, Ooh. They couldn't believe that such creatures roosted in these hills, but kept their eyes open. No, orcs are birds. Gotcha. Got it, yeah. Picking up what you're putting down. <clears throat> Did y'all see that? See what? I thought I saw something over that patch of snow. Everyone stared at the snow around them, but saw nothing. It was shockingly high passive perception for a fighter. <laughs> I suppose you're still jumpy from... Ooh! Large snow orcs sprang out from the piles of snow and roared at them. They set a trap waiting for fresh meat. We're spooky orcs. No, 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 no. We're, we're standing in front of Dora. He can defend Elf Boy. Fair. We're, we're keeping him and Dora because he's going to manufacture situations to yeah, rescue Yeah, you're her. right, you're yeah. right, you're right. No. Yeah, and I think I think Loren is most likely to like protect Dora. Um, All right, so so <clears throat> for their statistics, right, yeah, what do we got? We have a healer and a bunch of warriors. So I mean, healer healer well. dies. Healer dies first. That's yeah. the obvious one. Can we range attack from the front row? Hell yeah, we can. I don't see why we wouldn't do this. Yep, yeah, make it die. All right. Uh, Dora, you also kill. Loren can't. So, yeah, do we pick... This, this warrior's level three. All right, what are their resistances? Um, Critical means it will take a lot of damage. Okay, so Fire Boy is going to deal with that front row real nicely. Yeah. So let's let let's they're Loren resist, not... They're resistant to air, which is what our, our offhand sword is. Okay, but still... Uh, Loren knocking down some hit points on middle dude will probably... Alright. All right. And what can you do? I want you to do something that hits the back guy. Or paralyze? Are you paralyzing? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Let's make you not uh, heal anybody. So he is staggered for five rounds and paralyzed for... Uh... <clears throat> okay. You, fireball. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. Try this on for size. Oh my god, voice. I just heard his voice. Oh, oh, my earphone's not in. Alright. How close were you? <laughs> not, I was not anywhere near. Alright, so, Berserkersman. Right now, all you've got is a melee attack. Alright. Uh, is that a guaranteed kill, or are we gonna take... We're gonna take, we're gonna take our guaranteed kill. Yes, done. All right, yep, healer didn't get to do anything. Good. All right, so Loren will start chiseling that one. Finish him off. Uh, let's just go with the wizard yeah. staff. Yep. Yeah. Take out that healer. Zap him to death. We win! Hooray! Nobody gains a level. Um, David Longsword, great. I knew I saw something. The dwarf eyes are already proving useful. 
What about my dwarf eyes? They're quite large and a little unnerving. <laughs> They're always on somebody else's things. That's pretty good. <laughs> Dora pouted and pretended she hadn't heard that. The party wound down. The party wound down. <laughs> Boom! As, they, as the sun set and they set up <clears throat> camp. They were sore from their many battles and tired from their endless war. But there was only one battle! They huddled closer on the campfire on account of how chilly the air was that night. Everyone that was, except for Draco. Your fire magic, or your fire mage, where is he? They all looked around and couldn't even spot a trace of him. Apollo Macho scowled. Here's been acting odd since the very beginning. What are you implying? A man who acts the way he does is hiding something. He could be a spy, perhaps. Oh. That man, a spy. Who would ever hire that fool? <clears throat> Elder Druid Mirth is apt to hire fools, as is that goblin shithead, who sort of implied off screen that. And foolery is a clever disguise. You'd do well not to forget that all are not as they seem. This is a false beard. Draco? No, he may be silly, but he's not. He couldn't be. A lot of, a lot of spies in this territory, though. Elves don't <clears throat> let any Imperial humans walk around their territory, so Empire has to hire elves to spy for them. Saren straightened with a start. Draco isn't human. He's a half-elf. Paul Michaud stood up, stood up abruptly, scanning the trees. I knew that he was not to be trusted. Listen, I'm old. I get to be a racist. <laughs> Why? Simply because he's part elf. I have the moral high ground here, even though my people practice slavery. Also, we don't think we're human. The magician didn't respond, because he knew it to be true. Not all elves are untrustworthy. That is yet to be seen. A twig cracked behind them and they all looked over some surprise to see Draco walking back to camp. What's the standing ovation for? I just need to drain the lizard. The Ren and Sarens shared a look, unsure if he was telling the truth. That is why you hide your ears behind your hair? What? You mean to hide that you're part elf from the Empire? What's this all about? Did I forget something? Confess your true intentions at once, or I shall use magic to draw them from you. <laughs> Loren shot a confused look at Saren for guidance. My problem is I don't know who this is directed at, right? Yeah, right? Like... So, it, no. Step this shit down, not making a joke, no. I, I... You two, you two, stop it. Forceful. We will be forceful. So, the, my concern <clears throat> is that forceful might be being forceful with Draco. Okay, let's be friendly. Why don't you trust him? He has fought with us bravely for all of this time. He's I see fights. no reason to fear him, honestly. Don't forget how he followed us before he was even a member of our party. That was... was what, Firestarter? The actions of a spy! Paul <laughs> show raised his staff toward Draco menacingly. <laughs> Just then, high-pitched screeching pierced everyone's ears. Wow, that sick pig noise, though. And they clasped their heads in pain. What was that awful noise? Shadow Man. Stay behind me, I'll protect you. Shadow creatures? Saren tried to cast <clears> a glimpse of what was tormenting them, but only flashes of darkness could be seen briefly. And then, suddenly, a hulking dark form presented itself right in front of them. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't have a lot of other options. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see how this goes. Alright, they're they... weak. They're weak to water? Right, we don't have any and of that. air, so uh, Lorenz offhand is actually going to do us some favors here. Okay. 
Okay. They don't have any particular fire resistances. So yeah, they don't get set on fire. But, but they're resistant to all of the like conditions. All the conditions. Fine. We don't have much in the way of conditions, so. Uh, but they're also they're resistant pretty... to normal attacks. Oh, okay, that's all right. And they all appear to be the same otherwise. Yeah, they're all pretty weak in general. So just beat them down, I guess. Yep. 14 to 17, wow. Oh yeah, they're resistant to... Uh... And 11, all right. Front row and back row, I guess. Mm, no. No? Uh, no, normal shot. Because it's... Or we get the, the the shot on this guy, and then we fireball back row. Oh, okay, yeah. Step up to the front. Okay. Alright. Wizardy wizard. Oof, yeah, stab him. And hopefully. Let's stab this guy actually. Let's see if we can get him closer so Fireball takes him down. Yeah. What's uh, Ice Storm do? Even more. SP20, are they both SP20? Actually, um... Yeah, both SP20. Why don't we just kill the whole front row? That seems great. Why is anyone else here? I'm a wizard. I Stay clear. back! Alright, clearly a skill we need to cultivate for our uh, hero is returning SP to people, so we can just keep throwing spells at these people. Yeah. Alright, so Loren. Okay, yeah. shut that guy. Do what you can. Also. Yeah. Uh, yeah, knock yeah. him down. Yeah, dead enemies are better than wounded ones. And this one we probably just beat down. Yeah. Like, we don't <clears> need to <throat> blow a bunch of SP on it. Yeah, I'll get one shot in. Yay, Shadow Man. Hooray! Oh, level up. Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> Auto assign. Really? Skill? No, I don't think so. More so. Okay, so, All do right. we want her more swordsy, or do we want to start getting taunting you? I think we want to just keep doing damage. Like, Alright. You just want to make her better at stabbing? So... Yeah, what, is, what does that middle thing get us if we, uh... Uh, if we can get wide slash, we'll be able to uh, uh, hit everybody in the front row, or we can just have our offhand weapon automatically do 25% more damage. And that brings it up to 100, yeah. So then it doesn't work. Just, she just does more damage. Like, she can be our single target melee killer. The rally seems pretty decent, though. How many, what, uh, how long does it take? Time four? Yeah, four is pretty quick. Like, most swords it, it are six. Like all party members giving 10% attack bonus for three turns. It also yeah. reduces their conditions. Yeah, sure. That isn't going to send any closer to this. What does knock down? Okay, so we need both of these, I guess? Yeah, but, you uh, need both to get the middle. So yeah, that's like that's a long crawl to get up there. Yeah, I think maybe we just want to do more damage. No, it's a rally. All right. Yeah. Um, we can't just get more fireballs. Uh, he doesn't get a skill. I don't. Think. Oh right. right. But obviously, just more weight. 